Hello my Soko Universe, France Jersey, few French teams, uh, still the La Liga, Liga, a little bit Portugal background here, but we're not talking about any of these, you saw the thumbnail, we are going to talk about my fake jerseys, just to give you a little bit a preview, taking it off here, here are all my fake jerseys arranged, and we have to I want to talk about the history a little bit, how they came in to my collection, how much better I am that this is actually a fake on a scale from 1 to 10. I give you my, yeah, how much it bothers me. And at the end, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it, with them, and why I'm going to do that with them. And it wouldn't be me if I wouldn't do it chronologically. Uh, I first want to say, um, before we start with the absolutely confirmed fakes, and I have to say that probably the next one will also be a confirmed one, uh, two where I suspect that they are fakes. So, you know, it's kind of a big, I have to confess, yes, I have a big collection, but there are over 10 jerseys that are fakes in there, and that's in itself does bother me. So the first one that I suspect to be fake is my Halot Gattuso Italy uh, way jersey from 2008. Um, three things that are for me a little bit of a give, uh, giveaway that, they are, that this is fake. A, I have here the Austria jersey, which is the same cut. The material is very, 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 very similar. Most of obvious one, look at the difference in the crest. I mean, the crests are different, but there is a distinct 3D effect with the Austria jersey. And you know, a shiny background, and I see this with all the Euro 2008 uh, jerseys. And now the Italy one. Nothing like it. Yes, the Puma logos are more or less the same. They are literally the same. The material is very similar, but there's a third difference. Uh, and this is on the back side of the sleeves here. Uh, it's this ventilated patch, and again, I'm gonna. I have this light to light me a little bit, but it gives a little bit too much glare. This is only one layer, whereas the back side here on this black one, these are actually two layers. You can separate them. There are two layers of the jersey. So I bought this ahead of Euro 2008. I thought I'm getting the real deal off eBay, of course, uh, where most of these original actually all. There are only three sources and one is not, a, is not so bad. So yeah, then I think that this is probably a fake. And yeah, doesn't make me much happier with this. Uh, but I have already made peace with it. I, the last time I pulled it on, I realized, yeah, this might be a fake. Uh, the other one where I am absolutely not sure is this wonderful Brazil 2008, uh, two, <laughs> 2008 2002 away jersey, my only blue one. I don't know, the more I look at it and so on, it has some things that look all right, but then again, it's just everything so small. I mean, a jersey is too small, that's usually a sign for me that it's a fake, uh, but it's well done. I, I just, I just don't know. It just seems a bit fake to me. Uh, Let's start with my first fake jersey. The, the, the first one that I have in my collection, I think it's not the first uh, fake. And I'm not talk, talking about, um, I have this Brazil jer uh, jersey that uh, is my th officially third jer uh, jersey. I don't count this as a fake because I have so it clearly from the beginning said so and uh, I wasn't uh, really, really duped by it. Uh, same thing goes with this jer jersey. This is the Panathinaikos 2001-2002, um, some, some, somewhere there, 2000-2000 uh, to 2002 jer jersey. I mean, it's basically from 2000. Look, this was a present from my father when he had some business in Greece. He brought each each of his three boys. He brought three scarves and three jer uh, three fake jerseys uh, from Ike, Olympiakos and Panathinaikos. My brothers went there directly for uh, Ike and Olympiakos because no one wanted to have the green team. So I got stuck with that one. I actually didn't, like, I didn't mind because to me, this was kind of the Athens team. It's for me still Panathinaikos. So I was quite happy. I find a nice jersey. I barely wear it. Bottom factor, one. 
I'm not bothered by this jer jer jersey because it does not pretend to be uh, anything real. Which for all the others is not true. Is not true. Here is now the second batch of fake jerseys which are all got around the same time. It was after the 2006 World Cup. And I got the Spain jersey, I got the Spain away jersey, I got the Australia jersey from the World Cup. I think that is it, all those are the jerseys that I bought right there. I remember not liking the Italy jersey and then Italy, a team that at that point I had finished with them because I was so disappointed from the 2002 World Cup and Euro 2004. I said, no, I'm not going to support Italy. Of course, they're going to win this one. I thought, yeah, I need to get their jersey. Where do we get this jersey? Well, um, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I, I, I was back in America. Let's look on eBay, we can get deals. And then I saw Pirlo jersey. I still love Pirlo, although he's the mean man. I saw this one and I thought, oh, this is perfect. This is perfect Pirlo, even with customization. Wonderful jer uh, jersey. I gotta get this off eBay. I did not suspect anything of being fakes or whatever. I open this one and then the material is so not ventilated. I mean, this is basically uh, a raincoat material. Um, given that I was living in South Carolina where it's really hot in the summer, you're suffocating wearing this shirt. Um, I mean, when you look at it, everything look, looks all right. For a second, I thought maybe this is the... Uh, <laughs> this is the player version, which is even more ridiculous. But yeah, the print looks all right. Everything looks all right. Just the material is off and it's clearly not an original. Um, I'm not even sure. I have not even looked at the crest because, of course, this was only with the three size. It was all, only worn at that World Cup. I would be curious to see a real one. I mean, I would like to have... This jersey with three stars, I don't even care if it has pillow or, or any other number on, on there or not. I mean, this is on top of my list in a way uh, of getting or uh, wanting, let's put it that way. Of course, I need to also get the more fa the most famous jersey from that, which is the headbutt jersey. I have Zidane. Of course, that is all right. I even have to tell you that the material of this shirt, since I had the Spain uh, away jersey. This is the same material. It has all the hallmarks here. I mean, uh, it was never that great that logo, but you have here the the tag, you have the climber, although this meanwhile came off. Um, so I think material-wise it's all uh, right. I even think that the print back there, I mean, I concur, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. But when you see how it's put together, and I make pictures because I'm I'm, I'm not sure how, how well uh, it will be picked up in the video. A, I don't think that the, the dimensions of the crest are that all right. I think it, the, um, the ruse is a little bit too thin, but just look at the distance between the red sliver and the thumbs. This should be symmetric. It is absolutely everything but symmetric. Uh, it's even that uh, these here don't look right. Then if it turns to turn around, there is a little French flag back there. Is it centered? No. Fake as fake can be. And it is missing the uh, Adidas product tag as well, because this, this is another thing uh, that, that you can check. Your Adidas jerseys, they usually have a little tag right around here. And there's no tag whatsoever there. Fake. Bullet scale for Italy and France, uh, I have to tell you, um, I mean, I'm getting less and less bothered by it, but I think uh, we can talk with both about, yeah, I wanted to say seven, but I want to get eight because getting the real thing now is extremely expensive. And I would even say uh, with that next one, which is a form of similar, I also would give it um, seven to eight. It is this Argentina away jersey, which I don't have an Argentina jersey with this color. This is my favorite Argentina look, bar none. Absolutely. And there are only three that are widely available. There's a 98 one, although there's a really nice 992 one, but that's a rare jersey. The 98 one, this is my absolute uh, dream. The 2002 one is very nice. And then the 2006 one, I think they're all. The, the 2004 one, they are, they are just a little bit on the back here, too much blue. Uh, those are the three 
that I really would like to have in them, the 998 or the 2006 one because they, they were really good in it. Uh, the template, I'm actually all right with the template, I have to tell you. Uh, but you can see already the crest is not that nice and then just look uh, how badly these slivers are done down here. I mean, they should come in. They should come on both sides inward, they go straight down. Uh, again, material, all right, no text, but the material is absolutely the same as for the other, other, other jersey. This is badly put together. It's not even symmetric. If you wear it, it looks totally asymmetric. This thing is here and here again, the same problem. Yeah, I don't care if it says messy here on, on the back. Rip off. These are the hardest jerseys of the ones that I'm going to show you to replace, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, bottle scale, I would give it an 8 for that one. Now, the next one were the Euro 2 2008. I got all the Austria jerseys for real. Uh, I don't know now what other Euro 2s are. I think I have a Russia one that I got later. Uh, I'm collecting a little bit. But uh, one of the first ones that I got is again, you know, I got the Italy one, which I was at the stadium at, which. <laughs> Uh, quarter, quarter final uh, Spain against Italy. Afterwards, I wanted to get a Spain jersey. I got this one with Torres. And up until recently, I was absolutely sure that this is a real jer jer jersey until I heard that you need, you need to check the product tag. Again, I think material wise, it's absolutely fine. The tag has been cut here. You cannot find it. So uh, that already is for me a first sign. The second sign is that I realized this when I'm looking for replacement jerseys. If you look at the crest, it is way too narrow. This crown should not touch the outline here. The crest is too narrow. So yeah, uh, and the third sign that makes it sh certain to me is that I think when you bought it as a replica, the numbers never came with holes. It might be that someone uh, sourced the set from somewhere, uh, but you could not buy it this way. It is as close as it can get, but fourth sign is also very, very, very tight. It's an L, but even for an L, it feels like a medium. Uh, and I don't care then if we have here all, I mean, this is what bugs me is, I mean, it has the, these things that, that uh, supposedly show, 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 showing us the real deal. Again, I don't know how they got it, how they made it. I'm, this is really, to me, the enigma. Um, I'm not even sure if this may have been on, 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 on the Richards, this pattern here on the side. It might have been, it may not, not, not have been. I am absolutely convinced now, just look, look and crest that this is a fake. And I was so happy to have the Euro 2008 logo. Fake. But that scale though, very, very, very low. I will not get a Taurus, but this jersey, I saw it yesterday, um, I could get for 8 euros as a replacement without name set. Uh, uh, it frequently pops up as a, a used jersey that someone wants to sell here in Austria for, you know, 20, maybe 30 over there. So replacing this one is not that hard. Replacing the Italy one also, I saw it a few times already for similar prices. So those will not be too hard to replace. Uh, so therefore my bother scale for this one is basically at, um, I want to say three to four. Let's say three. So I'm not super bothered because I know I can re re replace. I'm bothered that I, it got it that way. The next one also hurts, but I kind of knew that I was ri ripped off right from the get-go. It's this Milan away jersey from um, 07, 08 with the B win. <laughs> with the original product code. Uh, it has the patch for a seven time winner. That one I think is original. It has the Lego culture patch, which I think is an original. It has Maldini printing and supposedly, and of course I don't have any proof of that, Maldini's signature right here. I don't think this is Maldini's signature uh, the moment I got it because there was never a proof of authenticity. But I, I actually thought, yeah, maybe the, jer the jersey is an M, it fits right, uh, it actually looks all right and whatever, maybe, probably the jersey is uh, the real deal. Problem is, it also doesn't have this tag, uh, right? But the one thing that really, uh, and I realized this last year when I just checked these jerseys, there's this again a ventilated patch here that is way too thick. 
that should be much much thinner and less visible in in, in the way it's this part that gave that gave, gave it me way to me um i'm not even think i think that even the ac milan crest doesn't look 100 percent right with the dimensions to me so yeah maldini signature fake i paid a lot of money for this and this was a time when i was actually uh running into some financial trouble so for that reason i'm gonna give this because this is something i will not be this, uh, this is definitely a seven on the bottle scale now uh, let's go on the bottles me less we make um our vacation since my wife's from former bulgaria we frequently go to bulgaria to the beach they have their store where you can buy um fake jer jer jerseys but i thought maybe by chance they might have a bulgaria one that is not fake and we ask even my wife uh asks her is this a real one i want to have a red bulgaria jersey because i have a white one now i have two white, uh, white ones i really want to have a red one a proper one yeah it's it's really it's really it's really no it's not uh first time washing the color came off soccer jerseys don't do this and the second one look at i mean you don't get it with bulgaria on the back and then with the dot here to, uh one uh watcher of the review we lift this one said immediately yeah this is probably made from turkey because this is the way you can get an e in turkey fake i knew it but at scale two i wanted to have i want i still want to have a red bulgaria character but i'm not too bothered with that one we have five more left the video is getting long now we're getting uh in more recent jerseys i was so happy and this one will bother me a lot because i need to i'm losing a national team with this one this iceland jersey i got it i look at it everything seemed to be all right everything seems all right i mean uh area there is even the original tag here where is it authentic tag but then this is plastic hey maybe not but uh everything seemed all right except that i didn't like that the crest is not really nicely aligned here and when you see the original you see that the dot pattern these blue dots here um it's a much finer way of doing it but what really gave it a maybe for me is that here there is some lettering on the original um, fake and this bugs me because i i mean i didn't pay much for it but i'm losing a national limit and i these jerseys are hard to get so i will probably get some iceland jersey and i have to say yeah uh, botheredness here is also um six i would say because i really love this jersey i really love the way this is made but no not gonna happen now to the worst contender here my valentine's gift from last year this ajax jersey i remember seeing it telling my wife this would be the perfect present for me it's not that super expensive it is a jersey that i really 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 would like to have and I unpack it and almost immediately this should not be gray this should be white this was my first thought and then um you know when when you just see it like it's it, it's right I mean I still like the way it looks and uh it wears well but there are just a few things I mean the stripe also it's not of equal width it gets a little bit wider around here um and when I wear it and suddenly the sponsor comes all scrambled up also not a good sign of a real shirt so yeah and then I just ordered the Leicester jersey the the third church jersey a few weeks before that so I immediately compared and I saw already that uh, the black outline is way too thin the material up top is not right I have a colleague who has this the original one the X is here much much smaller than in reality so yeah and the last thing is the crest you know if a crest does this very easily it's a fake and then as i said there it has the adidas tag it doesn't have it up here where it should be it has it in here this little tag here is what we what look for there is usually the year that it's made month and year and then there's a code you can type this code on the second line into uh google and then the jersey should pop up guess what jersey pops up if i put this code columbia home 2018 fake 
And incidentally, the same code pops up for this jersey. Ah, bullet scale here is a 10, because this was supposed to be one of the best presents. No. Never gonna uh, put, gonna go through that to through that hard trouble again. Um, I feel really bad, bad about this. This jersey, I don't feel as bad. Same code comes up, but here the tag is properly placed on the left shoulder. It is the tag, you barely can read it, but uh, with some forensics and so on, the same code pops up. Columbia home jersey 2000, 2018. It's a, actually, for a fake, pretty good. I even looked at the pattern, it looks all right. What gives it away again is crest, the code, and that this patch here is not good. And that this should be an XL, it fits. ML-ish, so not quite the real thing. Fake. I paid three euros for that, so I have to say my botheredness scale here is at a three. I would love to have this jersey, I'm, sh I'm afraid it will not come sooner as well. Then a very well-known one, and here botheredness scale, I can tell you already five, is this severe jersey, I made a video about it. You can see the unpacking video, I keep it up. I was so happy to have it him with Andre Silva and you unpack it and you can see me I try to justify that yeah this tag it's all right it's the right the real deal yeah it's not fake but on the scale since I have it this is one that I have replaced here's the replacement I'm not gonna use this anymore but on the scale meanwhile uh I'm bothered that I spent the 25 bucks for this 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 is the boldness so I would say boldness four um I got smarter and I said, I mean, asking, we'll get the last jersey, which is, of course, the city jersey. Oh, I wanted to have a city jersey in blue, and this is exactly, I mean, even one with the eagle, and then I see, oh, this one from the 11-12 uh, season, you know, with the great finale. Oh, this is great. I, sh I unpack it. It's the, I think it's uh, the video is also, also up there. I unpack it. You see, it's all right, but then look. Just, I mean, uh, first of all, it does. It does. It's again uh, S-ish, M-ish fit for an uh, what is it? L. Look at the crest. If you have the real one, you see immediately the, the dimensions of. But what even uh, bothers me most is that you cannot read the lettering. I cannot make it out what this should mean. That was the, really the first thing, and then that everything else just does not feel right about this jersey. Bottomless scale here, I'm actually quite bothered. It wasn't expensive, 10 bucks, so that is it. But I asked, is this an original? And this guy wanted to even uh, sell me uh, the shorts with it. And I said, no, I, 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 I don't need it. And he took forever. I have been worried now for two videos. I'm not gonna do this again. Bottomless scale here is a six, five. Let's make it five, but uh, I need another one. I would love to have this one. So yeah, these are my fake jerseys. And I told you I'm wanna, uh, well, what I wanna do with it, I wanna get rid of them. Uh, I just don't wanna have them. I took them out of my collection. I took them off their respective hangers because I wanna make space. This is the first reason. Uh, the second reason, I don't wanna make money, but you know, maybe some money can come in because you know, uh, I will say it's not an original, but maybe some people have some nice me me memories and the people that don't care about fake jerseys all that much as I do. But, you know, I'm going to post them probably for one or two euros and off they go. And if someone wants to have it and they are okay that this is fake, it's not. Uh, making space is a bigger reason than make, me, 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 me making money, but, you know, maybe someone wants to have that. And then the last and biggest reason why I'm going to get rid of them is honestly, every time I look at them, yeah, this is a fake, 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 this is a fake. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Yes, it hurts that I will not have an Iceland jersey. It hurts that the, um, I have quite some winning jerseys from World Cups and I got them some sometimes times so cheap. I always thought that the 2002 is the one's missing. I have this one now. I don't know if this is a fake. I have uh, 2006 will go, go away. Okay, so be it. 2008 will go away. Yeah, will actually be replaceable. So 
Maybe that's all right. I think I can live with it. Um, I will just, you just have to stay on the low lookout. I'd rather have the real deal um, and I give myself time for replacing these as well. I could have pulled the trigger yesterday on this eight euro Spain jersey, but then in the end I said, no. A, I am already, to be honest, over budget for the first two months of the year. And B, more importantly, I have made myself a shopping list. I want to have more channel dedicated jerseys. Maybe replacing a city jersey could go in there, but I want to get more new teams and I want to work on that list rather than uh, replacing fake jerseys. If it comes up and it fits in the budget, I will do that. So let's see how it goes. In any case, uh, let me know if you have any fake jerseys and what you are doing or have done with them. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Just needed to confess this one. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos about my collections. It's a little bit more real, uh, good stuff. All these here back there are originals, so it's the vast majority are, are originals. But yes, my collection now shrunk by... 13 jerseys, 14 jerseys, uh, 13 jerseys, but hey, so be it. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.